I can't believe this Kentucky Fried Chicken visual novel is actually real, and I also can't believe how terrible it is. Whoever thought putting white text on white sprites was a good idea is an absolute moron. I suppose I am getting ahead of myself though, so let's dial it back a little. Normally in these visual novel primaries, I like to introduce a visual novel, talk about its phenomenal plot, incredible characters, innovative designs, but because I Love You Colonel Sanders can be finished in under 30 minutes, we're just gonna skip all of that. Also, normally I like to use the music exclusively from the visual novel so you get a better idea of it, but because Colonel Sanders' music is not good, I'm just gonna borrow music from a much better game, so if you recognize it, kudos to you. So, you know, my disclaimer, whatever, background information, you can just look up KFC on the Wikipedia page, plot overview, you fall in love with Colonel Sanders in three days, tips and tricks, you don't need it. Alright, so now that we've skipped straight to the personal opinion section, I love you Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator, is not a good visual novel. And that much is probably obvious to literally anybody with half a brain. Of course, let me be the first to state that regardless of what I think of the game, this product by Trevor Conrad, officially licensed by KFC, has fulfilled the objective its creator had for it. It probably was relatively cheap to produce as far as ad campaigns go. People are memeing about it all over the Steam like they usually do, calling it a masterpiece, and it drew the attention of the internet to a company that hasn't been in the limelight in forever. Yet despite all that, I am still pretty disappointed. The last time I remember a parody visual novel hitting mainstream like this was Hotful Boyfriend. You know, that dating game with the photorealistic pigeons that came out seven-ish years ago, I like to say. And that visual novel, as incredibly stupid as it was, still managed to have an intriguing plot underneath all the haha, let's laugh at bad bird puns. This KFC dating sim on the other hand is exactly what everyone imagined that visual novel was gonna be like. Fast, quick, and exceedingly brain numbing. So it's similar to getting a bucket of fried chicken from KFC, except that buying a bucket of fried chicken is probably a better use of your time. Every single scene and character in this game is like watching people who are making fun of an anime describe an anime. Over the top one dimensional characters, random fight sequences, dreamy sparkles surrounding all the hot dudes, or hot dudes singular because it's Colonel Sanders. All of them are portrayed with this extremely grating self-awareness in quotations. Characters all exist to point at themselves and go, I'm this stereotype from every show you've watched before. The dialogue written in this KFC dating sim is this, I'm trying really hard to be wacky and funny. Isn't it funny? And maybe to some people it totally is. For me, I really didn't like it. It greatly could have benefited from a little bit of downtime. Some relatively normal dialogue for like a line or two instead of this continuous high octane non-stop stupidity that just keeps on going until the game ends. It's kind of like a horror movie where if you toss jump scares in every three seconds, they start to lose their impact really fast. All the words just start to blend together into this hazy mishmash of absolute nonsense and maybe some KFC thrown in there. It's a shame, I do enjoy parody content, but somehow this one just feels lazy. You can make a visual novel less than an hour long, and you can totally make fun of the cliches in the medium, but I would still appreciate if the end product wasn't quite so devoid of substance. Also, there's so many basic features just done badly or missing, to the point where I'm assuming it's on purpose, but like, why? Why on earth are they using white text on a transparent text box when half the game is comprised of white chef outfits or white background CG? Just don't even use a transparent box, or better yet, add a black outline stroke to the text. They already did it for every part of the text that wasn't dialogue. Was this on purpose? Do you just want to piss people off and make it hard to read? Here's another quick list of other features that aren't in this game for whatever reason. No saving, no backlog, no hiding text boxes, only two resolutions. Basic, basic features that have been there since forever. Well, anyways, enough of that. Let's just talk about some good things, I suppose. The opening anime sequence for this visual novel is stunningly good. Okay, maybe not that good, but it's well animated, it's got good energy, it's fun to watch. I only wish the rest of the visual novel felt like it had the same amount of time and effort put into it. The sprites are also pretty well done. They have a large range of expressions, especially considering how short this is. The Colonel especially, you can see that they spend a lot of time on him. He looks real good, as the anime version of Colonel Sanders should be. It does a great job to complement the joke of how everyone's just so enamored with this sexy young Colonel Sanders. 
The background art and all the CG are done well, I suppose. I mean, they're okay. Shockingly enough, it technically has multiple endings, maybe only like three or four, and the dialogue barely changes, but that's still more than one ending. I think I got the best one, somebody else can confirm it. Oh god, um, what else can I compliment about this game? Um, I'm happy it introduces the concept of what a visual novel is to the mainstream public, even if I think it paints a very bad picture of it. Yeah, that's all I got. Those are pretty much my thoughts on it. It's a meme product that's just meant to be a joke to get people talking about KFC. If you personally like it, that's totally fine. Maybe the humor does it for you. I didn't. I think it just contributes to this whole public perception that visual novels are just for these small subsection of anime weirdos rather than, you know, people who just really like good stories. I really did want to like it. I had hoped, regardless of its meme factor, that it would be a great gateway for people to get into visual novels. Having played it, I think it would turn people away if anything, but hey. For those who haven't played it and are curious about it, it's on Steam and free for anybody to check out, and it'll take you less time to run through than two episodes of an anime, or one if you read a Half Dead like I did. On the other hand, if this mean KFC dating sim got you interested in visual novels somehow, and you want to learn more about them, check out some of my other videos. I do introductions to some pretty darn good visual novels, and Japanese games with stories and characters that may or may not blow your mind. As always, the buttons are down below, and if you want to yell at me, the comment section is there as well. This video was just something quick I did when I realized uh, Colonel Sanders was on Steam for whatever reason. It would have come out sooner, but I actually kind of messed up my right thumb, so it's kind of hard to do anything for a while. Here are some of my other videos and my Twitter in case you want to see what I'm up to in between videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time.